Hey guys, Matt here. This is my review of Clerks 3. This movie is directed by Kevin Smith, and the movie stars Jeff Anderson, Brian O'Halloran, Jason Mewes, and Kevin Smith. The plot of this movie is it's been years since the events of Clerks 2. So now Dante and Randall are back at the quick stop, and Randall has a heart attack. And after surviving this attack, he decides he's going to make a movie about his life and the members of the Quick Stop. Now, when I first heard they were making Clerks 3, I was excited because Clerks 1, it being black and white, a low independent movie, was kind of a satire. And then Clerks 2 was completely different. It was about the cast at movies, the restaurant, and they were just making jokes about pop culture while dealing more with Jay and Silent Bob as characters. So the third one, I was expecting more of that. Well, I was wrong, unfortunately, because aside from it being black and white, this is more or less a remake of Clerks 1. Now, this review is going to be quite short, unfortunately, because my thoughts in this movie are simple. That this movie, a lot like Jay and Silent Bob reboot, is really just Kevin Smith's way of saying two things. One, I acknowledge my roots, I acknowledge where I came from, so I'm going to just remake and redo my very first movie for all the fans of that. But also, because of real life situations with him having a heart attack in real life as well, I'm going to make my movie about that and about grief. And that's what we get here. Aside from him paying homage to his first movie and recreating different scenes that made that movie popular with some of the or should I say, a lot of the same actors, which is a nice touch. Kevin Smith focuses on himself as a filmmaker and the fact that he had a heart attack. Even so much so that he has one of the characters calling out Randall for constantly mentioning that he had a heart attack. Now, this is one of those examples where the movie was disappointing, but I'm glad we got something. It's just a shame that the legacy of Kevin Smith and the legacy of these Clerks characters who have appeared in at least four movies ends this way. The nods to the original film are great. The recreation of certain scenes is great. But then at the end of his movie, he shows you <laughs> the actual clips from his first movie. So it makes the recreations, the reenactments, the homages you know, the rebooting, if you will, of those parts, kind of meaningless. Or, in his case, I guess a little humble bragging. You know, hey, remember that scene we just recreated? Well, here's the actual footage so you can see how good of a filmmaker I am. Now, Kevin Smith is a very knowledgeable man. He's made movies. I've never made a movie myself. It takes a lot of work. But to make a third movie in your trilogy with these beloved characters... And to make it about this, about how good of a filmmaker you are and the fact that you had a heart attack, this movie should have been a short film. It should have been 40 minutes long with just a montage of clips that he used in this movie. Now, I'll give him credit. Bringing all these actors and actresses back for this third movie that's, what, almost 30 years later? It's impressive. But to make an actual movie with... A simple storyline that's just a rehash of your first movie? Well, like James Hall and Bob reboot, I'm glad it exists, but kind of a waste of time. And this movie gets really, really sad. Because you have two characters dealing with something. You have Randall dealing with his near-death, near-fatal heart attack. And you have Dante dealing with the loss of someone that he really cares about. So we get a nice cameo there in that regard. But this movie is about grief. And I just feel like at the end of Clerks 2, when Dante and Randall kind of get in each other's face and have that argument, you know, that hits. But by the end of this movie, you're probably going to be sobbing. Because it's just so depressing and so sad that, you know... If that's what Kevin Smith wants to do now that he's older, now that he's more experienced, if he wants to make his movie about this real-life situation, so be it. But if you're a fan of these Clerks characters, this movie's going to leave you on a downer note. So, because of that, because I wanted more laughter, more good times from a comedy, 
and said with this dark comedy, we got more of the serious aspect of it. So because of that, I'm going to give Clerks 3 a C-. minus. The characters are there, which is cool, but you can tell they're older. The reenactments are nice, but like I said, should have been just a much, much shorter film. So until next time, guys.